Hey guys, we are going to do something a little bit different in this video. Different. Well, Joe's here for one. Different. Which is different. We get asked a lot of questions about why Different we're... questions. Stop that. We get asked a lot of questions, so we thought we would come on and answer some of the most frequently asked questions. We're also going to ask each other some questions, maybe some surprise questions. And that's different too. That is different. We don't do that usually. We don't talk. <laughs> it's true. We really have time to talk. We are pretty busy. We are going to cut to some footage in this video of us over the past year. Maybe footage you haven't seen. Okay, I'm going to answer one of the questions I get a lot since Joe is sitting here. You can clearly see that I have a partner. Joe works full time. Yes, I do. At an IT job. So he is stuck in front of a computer a lot of the time. And he also really loves being on camera, don't you? It's fine. <laughs> he hates it. We had hoped to do this without a baby, but he woke up. So we're doing it anyway, because if we don't just... He's mostly asleep. He's mostly asleep. If we don't just do things, they don't happen, correct, sir? Yeah, it's like the Princess Bride. He's mostly dead. He's not really asleep. He's mostly asleep. He's mostly asleep. You want to ask me a question first? Or do you want me to just... Let's just do this. Here's a general question. Okay. Okay? That people ask. Okay. And then we're going to ask each other secret questions. I didn't know there were secret questions. So. You can come up with them on the fly. I'm going to have to. I have secret questions for you. Okay. Uh, I think a lot of people think we're crazy. So it's the why are we doing this question. You. I hate computers. And I don't want to ever look at another computer again. And that's, that's, the, that's the short condensed version. Go team. No, that's not. That's not the I hate computers. Well, well, yeah, but that's not why. I don't want to ever use them again. <laughs> ever. But that, Ever. But that's not why we're doing this. Like, why did we move from Oregon? Why did we decide to homestead? And... Oh, yeah. and there was wildfires in Oregon. Those yeah, but we have those here, too. No. Not to of, the same level. Yeah, it's not the same. No, it's not. We... I think a lot of people think we're going to fail. Yeah, but I don't fail, so I don't care. You don't fail. Just keep working, and then eventually it works. That's like true. you just keep going. That's true. Just keep swimming. Yeah, someone asked the other day if I ever lack motivation, and I was like, yeah, I'm never actually motivated to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I just do it. To do what? To like drive 20 minutes to go take care of animals and do the thing. feed but I add oats to it so they don't grow too quickly. Another sign that they are purr and rosy when I'm about to milk. And chicks have fresh water. Throw a fit. And I have no idea why. You can't do this? Yes! Oh, you want to do it? Yes! Yeah, this is the time where the guts okay. come out! Yeah, guts! Yeah, this is... Watch out, this is a very nice sharp knife. Can you do me a favor and stand at that end and look this way? Um, if you want them to be, there's for whatever we need them for. Does he need another one? Hola. 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 <laughs> Just one of those weeks where you can't really catch a break, you know? Stop. <laughs> I'm going to roll my sleeves up for this. <laughs> Why are we homesteading? I sit in front of a computer all day long. All day long. I, I find I, I, even though it's, right now it's cold and it's painful sometimes, I'd much rather be outside working with the animals and blowing snow than sitting in front of a computer. However, those things don't pay nearly as much money as sitting in front of a computer. Well, they so pay I no can't. money. <laughs> like I said, uh, 
So, yeah, but eventually that'll be that'll be changing. That's the plan with the back. Hay. So the downslope will be where the building is. Come on, guys. Like that big. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Good job, Luna. Oh, Hi, everyone. We're working on the pig area today, and uh. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so, uh, that was quite the experience. Boy, this is this is no joke. Oh, one got in. Ah, oh, crap. Joe, have you ever done this before? Yeah. Lots of times. Joe's never done this before. Why are we doing it? You know, know where your food comes from. Mm -hmm. um, That's a good having one. an actual connection to um, the land you live on uh, and your community. One of the things that we get here, and we had it also in our previous town. Uh, it was a smaller town, but you you know your neighbors. You rely on your neighbors. You rely mm -hmm. on your friends, uh, and that reliance and that real sense of community for me. Is, is kind of a big piece of this. I think it's knowing next, your food is really it is, really but I think huge. that sense of community is next level when you're homesteading because oh, yeah. it's not like you just know your community and you're going out and partying with your community. No, it's man. like I need you to get me out of this muddy hole, muddy hole. that my truck is in. You want to show that right. footage? Let's just sure. show that footage. Hey there, everyone. Missy here with Irish Acres Homestead. We got a name for our homestead. Our last name's Irish Miller, so. That's why we are named it Irish Acres. So we've named our, our little homestead that we're just getting started on. We are literally going from the ground up here. So last week was super eventful. It's mud season here in Northern Idaho, otherwise known as the beginning of spring. And we had a serious issue with getting a dump truck stuck in the mud on our road. I, I I know it's not good, Joe. <laughs> I know I get it. I get it. Okay, come here. Daddy's really stuck in the mud. <laughs> Daddy doesn't think it's very funny. Daddy. No. How's it going folks? So we're back. We're gonna try and unstick this truck again. Uh, it's pretty noisy, but uh, I'll be back at you guys in a little bit. Good time. All right, just a quick update. Uh, you know, even if I don't get it out today, uh, I've got a legit proof of concept here. I was able to successfully use the boom arm legs to lift the truck out of its doldrums here. Um, I'm hoping that I've got enough to pull it out. If I don't, I will go get some additional aggregate and boards to give me a plane I can get out of. However, uh, <laughs> I suppose it's been uh, decided that I will get hailed on while I'm doing all of this. So, uh, all right, we'll get back to it. All right, one last update. We're still in a bit of a bog, but we absolutely got out of the hole, uh, which is what we wanted. Uh, it's coming down pretty hard. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, you know, I'm gonna chalk that up to a minor success and not push my luck, because it is wet out here, and not get myself in a new bog, but uh, I'm feeling good. As you can see here, we don't have any obstructions behind us. It's fairly clean. This is where the, the runoff is from all the rain and hail and sleet. So once things dry out, hopefully tomorrow or the day after, we can get it completely free and uh, start a new process of, let's get down some rock first.
Okay, here we are. Day four. Uh, yesterday was not successful in any way. I actually got deeper. Um, we're gonna try the paddle technique. Basically, we're gonna tie these two by fours on the back of the tires to create a paddle effect inside the mud. And hopefully that'll pull us out of that mess. Not sure if you guys can see that yet. It is, we are in there. I got my buddy Andy in here. Uh, hopefully we can get this done in short order. Well, uh, stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna try these ramps. Kind of like this guy here on the back tire since it's in and out. And hopefully get to pseudo stable higher ground. But as you can see, uh, things are getting wetter as the snow, which shouldn't really be here right now, but it is. Uh, is melting um so if we can get up to here to this hopefully this higher ground we can get out uh we'll see how it goes all right one more again i think we're going to tie the tractor to it just okay. for that little extra something oh. <laughs> all right here we go all right well through hook and crook we got it out so it's a different feeling of community where there's an actual reliance on yeah. one another. Like, it's interesting, um, with, with 2020 and, and the lockdowns and all the craziness everybody had, there was a lot of people that were like, oh, I'm getting out of the city. And we were already kind of out of the city, but mm -hmm. we kind of got a little further out of, of that metro life. And it's yeah. nice. I, mean, I do like, uh, like the idea that, hey, if 2020 times two happens again. Or we're a little even, more prepared. We're a lot more prepared. The whole relying on your neighbors, like I know that my neighbor needs some hay, or I need some hay, or they need some food, or I need some food, or mm -hmm. they need help digging a ditch, or I need help digging a ditch. Um, it's instrumental to know that not only you can ask for the help, but the help is there when you really need it. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, because you're, it's it's a different way of living. Like I don't the, asking for help's the last resort. You know, I'm I'm trying to work it out with myself because I, I I enjoy I enjoy it even though it seems like a struggle sometimes, it's okay. A lot of the people who I know think we can't do this, think we can't do it in part because of the weather here in Northern Idaho. Yeah, but I don't care. There, and, and our particular mountain, we get a lot of snow. Yeah. So, so at, has at, it been a problem so far? At this point, we kind of know what it is. Um, now, if we had not gotten our tractor, mm. This would be a whole <laughs> so different conversation, yeah. but we did get it. It finally did show up. Um, and I mean, for me, like it's not, um, fine. I don't, I don't mind. Yeah. I mean, I think one of the first things you did with your tractor was pull one of the neighbors out of the ditch. If you have before seen, I even got home, right before tractor. we even got it up to the property, <laughs> I'll link to that tractor video where we brought our tractor to our property in the, the description of this video. It, it's an invaluable tool up there. I mean, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's kind of everything. It's huge. So yeah. we're, we're talking snow, like a lot of snow. Like we have probably close to... Well, packed, it's about three and a half Three and a half feet. feet. The snow is supposed to keep coming down for the unforeseeable future. This is more snow than they've seen in our area in many, many years. Of course, it has to be this year when we're not living up here and we have to drive and commute. We have, I have slid all over the roads. I've had to be towed out by neighbors. Like it's the real deal. <laughs> Hi, goaty babies. I'm a little surprised because I didn't grow up with snow. I don't actually hate the snow at all. Mm -hmm. I don't mind the cold because I've learned how to dress. That's a huge piece, I think, is having the appropriate gear. Yeah, I don't like 
the commute. For me, it's the, it's the not living at the property that is the challenging piece for me. So when people talk to me about, are you guys gonna quit? I'm like, no, we're not even living there yet. We're, we're renting this house. We gotta move to that property and finish what we started and then we can assess whether or not we really like the lifestyle. Would, would you agree or disagree? I, I'm not, doesn't bother me. I'm not thinking about quitting. I'm, no, it's not. I'm beam of light. Two Hold places. on, sorry. There is a beam of light. Okay. All right, we fixed a lighting issue. We gave the baby to grandma. Was the baby on you earlier? He was on me earlier. In the video? In the video. Mm. So someone asked, what advice do we have for people who are like us, who are living in suburbia currently, they think they want a homestead, or maybe they really like us. Who were home. like us. Who were like us, yes. Just don't have expectations of how it's going to be. Right. Be okay with how it unfolds. Yeah. Um, and we're doing a lot of things differently than you see on most homesteader channels, just because of the nature of our piece of property. We, my mom says that I'm, uh, I always, have been do things the hard way, so that's why oh, we're doing it this way. I think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we you get, we're homesteading on a very sloped piece of property, but one of the things that was really south facing, it is south facing by and, design, and that was hard to find. Was south facing was a big deal. The other thing that we really knew we wanted because we had it in our home prior and we loved it was a view, a really big, expansive view, and you. And that feeling of like being on top of the world, we like that when we're in a home. I don't care about that so much. I like I that. like the view, but that, no. Okay, for south me, South facing slope. Deal. He wanted south facing, I wanted a slope. view. So one of the things I liked the most was when we first got the property and I started clearing trees and then I could see our, our view. It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Uh, so here you are, you know, laboring away with a chainsaw. And then the trees go down and you stand up and you see this view, it's, it's pretty awesome. How's it going guys? So I've been up here the past few weekends. Makes cutting down this forest and I've got lots to go, but you know, labor is somewhat rewarded by my view, which I'm quite excited to have in the near future. I'm looking forward to, if you've ever watched any of our videos, oftentimes I'll shoot a out towards the view and you can kind of see the mountains a little bit. It's hard to see in video, but um, that whole area of trees is eventually kind of gonna go because our orchard is gonna be there. And I'm really looking forward to what it's gonna look like when we open that up for the orchard and the pond and It'll just give us a little bit more expansiveness, which which is going to be really cool. So behind me on this slope, we'll actually have our orchard back here. And then below the orchard, ooh, bear poop. Below the orchard will be um, the pond. And we'll I think again, it's, it's what do you want? And then what are you willing to do for that thing? And that's it. There's, right, there's so no... for us, I guess we're willing to walk up and down some hills. <laughs> we're going to walk up and down them when no, we we're drive. Gonna have room. We're going to have some farm vehicles. Pretty soon. A giant tractor. We do have a giant tractor. Anyway, so again, I think, you know, when we got there, there were, you know, we had to make space for the goats, we had to make space for the chickens. You know, people would say, oh, you can't do it that way. I, I can. Like, you just have to engineer your way around it and, and maneuver around those yeah. challenges, but don't get discouraged. Don't let someone else tell you you can't do it. If you know you want to do it, yeah. You and can then do if it. it doesn't work, fine, reassess and do it differently. So, we're just gonna stick with the Nike motto, our piece of advice for people who want advice. Just do it. Yeah, I mean, just do it. And, and don't get discouraged. If I had any advice, don't get discouraged. You know, you have to pivot. You've gotta adjust, you've gotta adapt. And you've gotta be flexible. And it's, it's, that's the big piece. You've gotta be, you gotta be flexible. You gotta be okay with whatever, whatever is gonna come, right? Stuck yeah. truck in the mud for four days. The you, snow. Four feet of snow. It just is part of it. And predators, so, like predators, like that's a real thing. People ask us a lot about predators. They're surprised. Yeah, they're bears, raccoons, skunk. foxes, skunks, possums, squirrels. And our and Rabbits. aerial predators. Oh, hawks. And yeah. eagles. 
and hawks eagles. and eagles. So our yeah, goose no does joke. a really good job warning Bruce people. Is the best, dude. He is annoying, and our neighbors don't love us because he's constantly making noise. <laughs> But he he does he has kept everybody safe from aerial predator predators. So oh yeah. I will say get a goose if you have aerial predator issues. Yeah, Bruce is no joke, man. You have to have somewhere for the, you know, he'll warn the birds and then they run and hide basically under trees is what happens. Um, we have a lot of tree cover though. So we it's have a not, ton of tree cover. They don't, not everyone has that. So I think that no. you have to provide a space for them to You need to hide. have somewhere for them to hide. Yeah. No, here's what happened. It was my and fault. It was his birthday. It was our daughter's birthday. I had some pullets that I had decided to let out of the brooder side of the coop and I we lost 15 chickens yeah i put them in little a little netted area and i thought that would be okay during the day and the bear came and ate them all so that is that's our biggest loss and then we had another loss when our automatic coop door yeah that was the biggest broke loss. that sucked that was a fox in literally a fox in the hen house and they that took out eight of our yeah, he just kept coming back. Eight of our laying hens. So they broke through the window to, mm -hmm. to escape. And that's when we kind of gave up on netting. We gave up on automatic doors. We went to fully free ranging our chickens, and we so stopped clipping escape. their wings. And we've yeah, had do not clipped their wings. Zero. Do not clip their. We wings. have had zero losses to predators since then. Yeah, uh, I'm suited up here. It's Joe, Missy, and we had a bear attack. So I need to go check our bees. Uh, we're trying to fortify things a bit here. Uh, not my favorite day. No, it's not pretty upsetting. Day. I'm very upset about my bees. We knew we had to get an electric um, fence around these bees, but we clearly didn't do it soon enough. And it's berry season here. The berries are starting to ripen. And so the bees have been definitely manhandled by a bear today at some point, last night at some point, early this morning, we're not sure which. You can see this kind of disaster here happening behind me. Um, I need smoke. And the hive has been attacked. Joe's gonna take you on a tour. I'm again. So, uh, I'll let you guys see what's going on. As you can see, my lovely bees have been absolutely devastated. Um, I, I guess the, the plus side of this is, look, I needed to, I needed to, to pick up the bees and put a third stack on them anyway. Um, the real downside here is what has happened to um, this one, right? But there's an awful lot of honey there that, that, you know, they were just trying to make their way. I don't know if the queen is still around, but look at all that honey, look at that comb. That's, uh, that's just too bad. All right, let's see what's gonna happen here. Obviously, they are going to be in a heightened state of WTF because of what's been going on. Um, oh dear, I stepped in the hive. You see that? I literally stepped in the hive. I don't know that I can get this hive back. I am going to try and scoop them and save them. I don't know what's gonna happen here. A bastard bear just came in and really just put a number on my bees, my lovely sweet bees. And I, I you know, oops, my, my pant leg is up and that is bad. That is very bad. It's very, very bad. So I need to do some management here before I become uh, a chicken dinner. I'm wearing the wrong boots for this. As you can see here, it's just, it, it will literally be open season on me. Um, at this time of hour, bees are crawling, not just flying. So they will find openings, they will find holes, and they will be in my suit, devouring me. Uh, so I, I think I'm, I'm gonna try and grab uh, portions the less active portions of this hive 
Um, it's pretty clear where we saw that hive uh, earlier. I'm gonna avoid the main path where this took place. And um, I'm, I, I'm gonna try and salvage my bees. I, you know, it really comes down to if we can find that queen and get her reoriented or resituated back into this hive. I've gotta keep that bear from coming back for what's left of my hives. So let me uh, kinda move my way up. As you can see, this is a very steep hill down to the creek. So I'm gonna, I really hope in all of this, I can get down there, re-scoop my queen, and rehab my hive. I do not know if that's possible, but I do know I wanna try. And maybe, you know, maybe in two or three years when all the work is done, there's no, it's always gonna be work, there's always gonna be something to do, but when all the- The building. When all the building and, all, and the vision is kind of operating, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll think differently. But now it's, it's still either new enough or novel enough for, for me to not be discouraged. Mm -hmm. and I, that's my recommendation, don't get discouraged. And yeah, I mean, if you wanna do for it, don't example, let else. our well is not functioning right now. Yeah, that's a problem. So we are bringing buckets of water to our animals every yeah. day from our rental house. We're transporting water. I mean, there's just, you're gonna run into things like that. It is what it is. You just gotta yeah. keep putting one foot in front of the other. Okay, so what's your, uh, what's your favorite aspect so far of homesteading? I think I know the answer to this. Um, <laughs> other than the tractor? <laughs> he really <laughs> likes his tractor. <laughs> uh... There it is, our new tractor. I, I like, even though it's slow, especially now in winter, because you, you have to adjust to the winter here. Um, I like the continued progression, I really like Okay, we made changes to what we were going to do for the house pad, or the, not the house pad, but the shop pad. We made changes to what we were going to do with the bucks. You know, originally we were going to have the three bucks or the two bucks in the weather in a separate building. Um, I'm actually glad we didn't do that. We had negative one or two degrees down here, which means up there was probably negative four or five. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad we had all the animals, all the, the goats together so they could stay warm. Um, and we found a solution so they didn't breathe. We did. A buck apron is what we used. We're not affiliated with that, but I am going to put the buck apron uh, link because I think it's a really great solution for people who maybe don't have a separate area for your bucks and you don't want all your labor. It works. Your does to get bread. It really does work. We leave it on them 24 7. Which I don't love, but that's okay. It, it is what it is right now. So yeah, I'll put a link for that. There's so much fun. Yeah, I mean, there's so many different things. I think, it's see, a different... I, I'm a, someone who personally loves to create. So for me, like all of the little projects that get to happen that, that you just get to see from start to finish, start to like, yeah. there's a lot of unfinished. Granted, we have a lot of unfinished, well, yeah. but the little pieces that get to get finished along the way, I just, I, I like that feeling personally. So I, I enjoy that. And I am surprised by how much I enjoy, in particular, the goats. She is ready to get milked. Oh, all of you are coming? I'm not milking all of you. Just milking the big girls. Milking a goat can be hard at some times. And sometimes it can be a little easy. Here's Edda, she's our oldest goat. This here is Ivy, she is very nice. Um, and we have this one here, her, her name is Rosie, she even has a rose collar. What about? This one little guy, this little guy's Augie. Oh, he doesn't want me to touch him right now. That's Augie, he's very nice. Come over here, do these and goats. This one back there, the one back there. That one back there. His name is um, As As Aspen. Aspen. And, but he doesn't let us touch him. He's really scared of us. So we let him be his own goat. This one is Fern right here. She is very nice. This is um, Asriel. 
He's he's one of our bucks, yeah. our boys. Her name is this goat here. Is her name is Misty. She's very sweet. She's one of our favorite goats that we have. These are some happy goats. Makes them happy, which makes me happy. The goats are really, <laughs> yeah, it's been really great. I think if we didn't have the goats, it would be a lot harder. And, and for me, now the pigs too. Like I really do like Wilbur and Charlotte. Come on guys. Yeah, they got a bunch of poop down there too. Yeah. I know, you guys are gonna be Hey. Over. You're not falling for it, huh? He's smart, he knows you're gonna fill that thing. This is Wilbur. He's a big old boy, aren't ya? He's a big old boy. Wilbur, hey, hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. What have they done? They made a mess of their feet. They blew their feeder up, yeah. Oh, wow. How'd they do that? Pigs. And greedy little pigs. Yeah, they totally stuffed it full of hay. Hi, Charlotte. Come here. And the ones we're gonna eat. But... And the ones we're gonna <laughs> eat. We're gonna really like those. Um, <laughs> but here's, here's a good example. So we are, we're, we're, you know, we're foster parents or foster farmers. We're, we're, we have a pig for someone else, Ramsey, and Ramsey got out, and so. This just happened two days yesterday. ago. Yesterday. Is it yesterday? Yeah. And we have this makeshift fence for him that's worked out Sorry. because of the snow, right? It, it actually, the snow ended up being the medium we needed to use to, to, to hold to, these fence panels. To hold these fence panels. Why don't I cut to that? Mini spot. Yeah. I took a bunch of footage of this. So this is the pig that Joe won at the fair. I'll put a link to our fair video in here so you can see when Joe and our friend Drea won this pig. The pig. Uh, is art for our friends, but we've been they don't have property like we do so we've been raising this Ramsey pig. Ramsey yeah. is his name and um, He's been a total pain in the rear end honestly. Yeah, he's he's, he's a rooter where our other pigs are our other pigs not. are pasture pigs So they yeah. don't do that rooting and digging up. But anyway, we have some footage from yesterday Dealing with this pig getting out. So I'm gonna go ahead and Yeah, roll it. I'm here this morning. It is very cold out. I mean, maybe like five degrees or something, it's very cold. <laughs> Funny story, I came here last night and kind of kept having this feeling that I was gonna have an animal encounter of some kind. I'm bringing our Christmas tree to our goats. And it was almost dark, I was a little late getting down here, and I thought for sure it would be a raccoon or a skunk in with the chickens, it was not. I rounded this corner that I'm coming up on right now and saw a large figure that for a minute I thought might be a bear. It was a pig. Now we have Idaho pasture pigs. They're very friendly, sweet pigs. But we also had one pig that Joe caught at the fair who's been in a separate pen. The snow got so deep that he got out of his pen. So last night I was here alone and I managed to get him into the goat area last night. So here he is over here, sleeping in the hay. I'll show you. But now we've got this, oh he just woke up. Now we've got this pig in our goat area. I don't feel like I can let my goats out with him. We, this pig is going to a friend and they had planned to pick him up and have him slaughtered in about two weeks. But now here we are. <laughs> So it's gonna have to happen sooner. There's the pig. He's looking at me like he wants some food. I am not going to feed him because we want him hungry so that hopefully he'll go and um, hopefully he'll follow a bucket. And there's our little bunny. There's our little bunny. 
Watch out, lightning. Chickens are coming out. Ducks are coming out. Get them some food. I'm up here with Matt now. He's here. We're still waiting for Joe. Um, Matt's our friend who works with us, and he is currently clearing a path to our gate in our goat area, our bigger gate, so that we can get in there and figure out what to do with this pig. So step one, <laughs> this time of year, I think step one always involves clear the snow. So step one is clear the snow. What, you're so excited with yourself? You're totally destroying this goat area. My goats can't get out of their barn. What's that, pig? What are we supposed to do with you, huh? We gotta get you out of here. You don't belong in here. And of course, it starts to snow. <laughs> Welcome to homesteading in Northern Idaho. I'm gonna take you on a little walk. We've decided to build a path here and we're going to use these panels that we have to kind of create a makeshift fence. And then we're gonna create a makeshift covered bed there. Just, we just need like two days, maybe three days for this pig to be in here. And then our friends are gonna take him to process him. So Joe and Matt are working on this now. Hi Joe. Hello. <laughs> Watch out, he's running. He's coming, he's big, he's fine. I just don't want him to knock you over. No, he's, he's, he's Come on, Ramsey. He's worried about you. All right. <laughs> Go get your food, Ramsey. kind of You want to go that way? Let's go around. Let's go, buddy. I don't want you to go this way. That's why. Move that. That's what I thought. They don't like to be, we need pigs, we need like a board. Ramsey, come on man, you don't, you were just fine a second ago. Maybe if he sees his bowl, his black bowl. Then if you can pick it up and walk backwards, he'll follow you. Just move it a little bit, set it down. Come back. Well, let's lay some straw down in the path. All right, let me... I'm not gonna be able to get this fence behind him. And get out? Forget getting out. Just getting the fence behind him, I don't think I can do. Yeah? 
No, you gotta get, walk up, miss. Walk up. Walk up. Quickly, 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 because you can root it up. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. Sorry, rooting. Alright, you want me to help you tie it off? I'm just gonna do some straw. Okay. From the. Wherever. We've got it. We're gonna have to get it. Ah. Uh. Shit! <sighs> that shiny's not going back down there. Nope. He's headed down. The grub. Alright, then the big question is how to. to get <laughs> He knows he's in the pen. Yeah. You gotta move, you're gonna have to move that panel so we can move the board. Keep the panel isn't just in the way, I think. Move it out? Yeah, the board, he won't, he won't talk to the board if he gets that panel. Oh, he's having a good time in there. He'll make a nice bed there. I'll throw his hay, throw hay there. And then we'll just tarp this. We should get him uh All right. All right. Success. <laughs> the pig is in an enclosure and ready for our friends to come pick him up in a day or two. Man, never a dull day. But again, that's a great example of, okay, well, what can we make work? Well, this works. And actually, I was just thinking that today, like, he's not going anywhere. That dude could literally sit there, like, I'm not gonna let him sit there, but he could literally sit there till the thaw, so snow thaws, because it's, he has nowhere to go. Like, right. there's nowhere for him to go. He's burrow. not staying there, though, for there's those of you, like, for animal go. rights activists who are watching yeah, no, this, he's not terrible. staying there, he's leaving tomorrow morning. If you could go back and do one thing differently from the very beginning, what would you do differently? I would be a lot more involved in the process of making sure our well was working and the whole shenanigans of having the pump replaced and everything else that happened with our well that I wasn't really there for, that would be, I would, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how or everything I would have done different, but certainly if I knew it was gonna happen in the future, I would have definitely done the well differently because it's irritating. Because it's not working right now. Right? Yeah. Oh, I see it glistening down there. Yeah. So then you... Which the well report said it was a lot lower, so all we can figure is like the runoff has been filling it. Right, and so we won't really know what the flow is until... We're gonna know what the flow is today. So we're gonna so pull it all the way out. It. We're gonna check the pump, check the rating. Okay. If it needs... If it's not the right pump, we brought the right pump. Good. If it is the right <laughs> pump, we'll put it back in. Then we do a well test, which we take this meter uh -huh. and we hook it on the end of the pipe once we get the pipe up. Uh-huh. And uh, we'll run your well dry. Okay. We'll completely drain it. Uh-huh. And then we'll give it a certain amount of time and then we'll kick our generator back on again. Okay. And we'll see how many gallons it recouped. Okay. And that'll give us your flow. So, and that was my bad. I was the one there. I didn't know. It wasn't her bad. I didn't know what questions to ask. These guys came out to fix our well. And so we don't really know what's going on with our well. We were told at one point it had a gallon a minute. Then we were told it had six gallons a minute. On the report, the well report, I think it says six, six gallons a minute. Yeah. They replaced an old pump and put in a new pump, but now the new pump. I don't know. The new pump doesn't work. It's the never one did. Like, I, Bottom what? line. New pipe? New well's pump? not Okay, working. great. Well's not pumping. Yeah. Uh, so that's the one thing I think I would do. Make sure the infrastructure's in first. No, I mean, maybe. not even so no. much the infrastructure, just that one thing. I think I would have looked for a contractor to build our shop sooner. Yeah. Um, I, I would, I think that 
I'm actually glad that got delayed because... It's true, we changed the plans. Yeah, I'm actually yeah, that's glad. True. That, that's true. I mean, I, again, going with the flow of the whole process, the thing that getting pretty discouraged. It's pretty important. Been... What do you like about our property? Um, I really like, uh, I don't know, I just kind of like where it, the location. When we live in town, there's more rules, but out here we can like do more stuff and we can have more animals. So, I like that. <laughs> Saren! What are you doing? What are you doing? Show me how you bring those rocks. Oh, is it heavy? Careful. Is that heavy? Oh, it's so heavy. Add a chicken. Okay, now give it to me. Yep. Oh, nope, you have to get twins. I like chickens and my name's Kiret. Too. Okay, baby. What's next? Mm. We're moving up there. Aaron, be in the shop building while the house gets done. Well, okay. So we found a contractor who says he will build our shop in this snow during the winter. We'll see. We have our lumber package. We already, yeah. It's supposed to be spent. picked up. We we will see. We will see. We're uh, we're not expecting that it will be done. At least I'm not expecting that it will be done before summer. Oh, but I am. I do expect to well, be well done. I don't know about done, but I know. expect to be moved yeah. onto our land before the end of summer. That's my goal. I don't know about you. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll be there before then. So I, I suspect we will be up there most of the time by spring and, uh, and things like finishes won't be done, but I, I, we won't have to do. So we've got babies coming. Uh, uh, no, dog. not those kind of babies. We have goat babies coming goat goat starting. Babies. We, have, we have two does due in February and one well, doe Ivy. in March. Yeah. So we have a livestock guardian dog coming who's going to be living with our goats yeah uh we're going to be installing some cameras mm. that are going to like live stream to our phone so we're doing the best we can right internet doesn't matter. fair enough Did bottom matter. line is that out because she isn't <laughs> the bottom line is we're going to move to our property we'll move, we'll, we'll move up there soon yeah um i don't i don't I don't, I don't need everything finished. Well, we have me. a trailer, so you know we're thinking maybe we live in the trailer while we're finishing up the shop. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so you need to close, close, close the, the door. door. Kieran, can you close? Thank there. you. Shut or not shut? Shut, shut. please. What is you're gonna? You hear some children crying Just, uh, in the background. What's going on? Oh my gosh. I'll, let me just pause and stop yeah. this. Cover. Let me... Travel trailer. Travel trailer. We're gonna be living the dream. Uh, we've gotta get the well fixed. We uh, said that already. No, but, but 
in terms of, of moving or living up there, yeah. you, until the water is fixed, there's, it's a no-go. Um, so that's, that's, for me, is the biggest thing I'm not worried about. Right. Anything else. And then the house, I think... We need to redo our house plans. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll, share, we'll share those in a YouTube video once we have them dialed in, but that's not yet because we keep changing them. No, I mean, we're a just, little bit here and there. Well, I think we, I, I think we're gonna just do a, we're just a redo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is kind of cool, you know. I mean, the fact that we didn't start it right away, what we've wanted has shifted a little bit, and sorry, so, I just yawned all over the video. That's okay. And so we'll play with that. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so here's my my pop question to you, husband. What is your like in five years, if we could be doing exactly what your dream is, what what is the thing? What is the thing? What is it? What does it look like? Oh, um, two or three more of these. And of these. Uh, of homesteads. homesteads. Us moving to more homesteads. Um, I think maybe us to get it operational and then, you know, leasing. Wait, you're gonna make me move again? Farm. Wait, wait, you're gonna make me move two or three more times in five yet. years? Well, I don't know yet. I don't. I make her. Yeah. That's not happening. <laughs> I just pooped all over your dream. Okay, wait. Go ahead. Go ahead. What else is new? <laughs> um, there's no, there's no. I mean, I'm, I'm doing what I want to be doing right now. I mean, like it's, I don't have a, I don't have a next part of the dream. I mean, other than the monetizing. Right, yeah. I mean, I'm bringing in I mean, it needs to be, I want it to be an operational, we're doing an operational property. farm, right? The idea is, is to provide, you know, affordable food, good, like good food, I mean, real food, right? So no pesticides, no GMOs to people in rates they can afford. I mean, a lot of people can't afford to go to, home, to Whole Foods. So for those, for those people, we're going to, I'm hoping that we can, we can feed them. I mean, that's, that's, that's the goal. Although not beef, because their conversion ratio is terrible. Yeah, and we right now, I mean, with the property we have, beef is not. Yeah, and that not they would... <laughs> Lamb is. We don't have. We don't have pasture. I think. I think we will. I think I'm going to do the whole middle area as pasture. I thought about it. Like I'm just going to clear all the trees. Anyway, that's another hint there. Uh, <laughs> In Joe's brain now, he's clearing trees. He's making. We I do, didn't want to. I really plans. like. I really like. Yeah, it's cool living in a forest, but we um, we need to maximize the land productivity. Pro. Well, Definitely. yeah, well, we'll get into a lot of that later. I think we'll, we'll, we will figure out, you know, there's a lot of you can'ts and some of those you can't said we couldn't do our chickens when we were doing it. That's true. Our chickens free range in the forest and they're doing And they love their life. Awesome. They don't even want to go inside when it's freezing outside. They want to stay in the tree. Yeah. That's what it's about. So <laughs> the only problem is a lot of times we can't find the eggs, but right now they're all in the coop. I'm getting tons of eggs, even yeah. in negative something temperature too or well i think it was negative seven up there that real cold day all right do you have a um pop question for me no surprise i i i wasn't right i wasn't able to prepare a surprise so it's surprise <laughs> okay, that i fine. need to have a surprise question um okay what are what let's 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 uh let, yeah sure i actually i'll ask you the same oh, you question what's the big dream the big dream for you Having a house, like an actual house up there, seems kind of like a dream to me. It seems. A functioning one? Yeah, water, I mean, I know water that. Water and power? I know it's the plan, but it also seems so far away that it also seems like a dream. Okay, so for me, when I look at the land, I see what I'm going to do to it when we're done with all the infrastructure and when all the buildings are put in, like the beautifying of the land, I think is the so, exciting piece of the dream for me. All right. Yeah. I think finishing this project is the dream right now. Maybe someday there's like a out there kind of a dream, maybe to have like a million goats and a small goat dairy. Whoa, a million goats. Not a million, but a small little goat dairy. I think that could be a cool dream, but we could do that on the land we're on. So we don't need to move necessarily to do that. Oh no, there is. I would like to have a large barn. A large barn. It's the end of. It's the end 20, of 2021. 20, this yeah, is the so last day of 2021. Time flies. So 
2022. We'll do another one of these at the end of the year next year, and we'll see <laughs> where we are. Yeah, Hopefully that'll be we're fun. not in the same situation. House. Hopefully we're not in the same rental house. Yeah, and, and things are... I mean, it'll be different, for it sure. Will. Yeah, it'll we'll be fun to it look is. back and see what we've accomplished and yeah. what has gone right and what we've learned from. Instead of saying what's gone wrong, I'll just say what we've learned from, because that's what I don't happens think, when you make mistakes, you learn from it. I don't think anything's really gone wrong. I mean, even losing the chickens, yeah, that was terrible, but... But we learned. We learned. For our situation, how to manage them, and what works for us. Yeah. So, yeah, I think, uh, I think it'll be a fun year. Lots of work to do, and... Lots of work to do. <laughs> if you want to follow our, our madness and our adventure, please subscribe, and like us, like our videos. And we'll keep going. Yeah, we'll keep making more. I mean, if we know people we'll are going. watching, it helps motivate me to get the camera out, which I'm not always motivated yeah. to do. And that, I mean, and I don't, I don't, I know I don't. Like, if I'm doing something, I, I think I'd be better. I about often implore him to record himself when he's doing things, and he yeah. just no, it, I, literally, I don't think about it. Like, I know. it's like I have I know. to do this thing. I've got like two hours, and so I'm like yeah. hyper focused on whatever I'm. I gotta get done. Yeah. So. Well, maybe that's, you know, kind of our, how about our resolution is to make more videos. This we'll next make year. more videos. That's a good New Year's resolution. On that note, be blessed. We'll see you next time. Later. <laughs>